Hello all, I welcome you to this class. In today's class, we will discuss writing. Okay, so we will look at the different stages involved in the process of writing a good piece of literature. So when I say good piece of literature, um, I mean to say that you can use this particular strategy known as power writing when you write essays, when you write letters, emails, business reports, blog posts, stories, novels, etc. So what is power writing? It's actually an acronym for prepare, organize, write, evaluate and review which are the five stages of writing. We will discuss each stage in detail and I want you to do the activity simultaneously as you go through this video. Now the first stage is called prepare. So one of the major reasons why we often struggle to write is because we lack enough ideas. We don't have enough ideas with us and therefore we end up writing anything and uh, everything that comes to our mind. So coming up with good points or collecting all your ideas before you write is a very important step. Now this entire process of ideating or you know preparing and you know sitting and thinking about uh, the good points related to the essay question or um, you know it could be email any kind of writing is that whole process is known as brainstorming now i'll tell you what are the different methods or what are the different steps involved in brainstorming one is that you have to note down anything that comes to your mind now here if you're a perfectionist you're going to be very critical about your ideas please don't do that note down all the points that comes to your mind don't leave out or discard anything thinking maybe this is not right maybe this is not good enough don't worry about organizing your ideas at this point we will do that in the later stage. So you're just going to write everything that comes to your mind as ideas uh, in this particular uh, stage, which is known as prepare. Again, when you're jotting down your ideas, please don't worry about grammar, spelling, pronunciation, etc. And keep jotting down and keep noting them in a, in a rough uh, work, in a rough paper until you exhaust all your ideas, until you have no more ideas. So this is the first part of it. Now, I'm going to give you an activity. Write a letter of requisition to return your caution deposit for library books. So let's suppose you are, you have appeared for your final semester exam and now it's time for you to graduate. So write a letter to the librarian you know, what kind of letter? A letter of requisition. What's a letter of requisition? When you write a letter to somebody asking or requesting for service um, or for some kind of help, then it is known as letter of requisition. So in this letter of requisition, I want you to write about returning your caution deposit, which is 2000 rupees that you had entrusted earlier um, as a part of the you know, um, book reading scheme. Uh, so now, with what we have discussed so far, which is the first stage known as prepare, I want you to come up with all the ideas, you know, everything that you could use to, to write this particular letter. Please do that. Pause the video. Work on this. Work on ideating and brainstorming, and then we'll go to the next stage. Now, the next stage is known as organizing. In this stage, you need to outline what you're going to write. So throughout this stage, it is very important to ask yourself, how am I going to guide my reader? So think of yourself as a tour guide. You would want the tourists to visit 
place A followed by place B and then place C and finally conclude the entire visit with something interesting, right? With some interesting piece of information. So think of yourself as a tour guide and ask yourself, what should your reader read first? Then what should your reader read next? And what should the reader read last? This is very important part, organizing, you know, your ideas need to be organized properly and thoroughly. So from the ideas that you have collected, now select the best ones. Now is the time to filter. Sometimes it so happens that you have really interesting ideas, you know, some good ideas, but then it doesn't fit in the entire scheme of uh, the schema of writing. So it's important that at the, those moments, however interesting the point is, or you know, however good the point is, you will have to leave it out. You will have to strike it off. So organizing part or this particular stage is very important and you need to ask yourself what the, your reader should read first, next and last. Now, once you filter and select the best ones, arrange the ideas in a logical sequence. This is very important. Arranging your ideas in a logical sequence. Now, the same activity, I suppose in the last part of this video, you had worked on the first stage of writing the requisition letter, which is preparing. Now I want you to organize those ideas. Ask yourself what you should write first, what you should write next and then what you should write last. Now comes the third stage, which is known as write. Now that you have all the ideas and the ideas are organized in a logical sequence, you should now take your ideas in your outline and write full sentences for them. Treat this as your first draft, so don't worry about spelling, punctuation, vocabulary, grammar. In first draft, you don't look at those things. Um, in the next stage, we will look at evaluating and, you know, uh, correcting the mistakes. So at this point, write full sentences. While writing, it also happens that you come up with additional ideas or you, you might feel like you should remove something or you should feel like, you know, maybe I should organize it a little differently and you might want to move your ideas around. That's all fine. That's all perfect. It's a natural uh, process um, it, it happens with everybody so you don't have to panic at that point thinking oh my god I am I, I am not sticking to the stages or the procedure that is uh, known as the power writing so you shouldn't worry about that if if you think there are additional ideas that comes in the last moment you can definitely um, add them in this particular stage as well now, coming to the activity, write a letter of requisition to return your caution deposit for library books. You have already done that with the two stages, that is prepare and organize. Now, I want you to write full sentences. You know, your ideas need to be converted to full sentences and, um, you know, organized in a logical sequence. So, please do that. I have written a sample here. Now comes the fourth stage, which is evaluate. So this is where you proofread your work or this is where you check for mistakes, um, your spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes or punctuation mistakes. So at this stage, you need to look at vocabulary. You need to ask yourself if you can replace certain words with, you know, better words, you know, if there can be a better choice of words. Then you need to check for spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes and finally the punctuation mistakes and in this particular stage I have corrected some of the mistakes that I have made in the previous stage which is the writing stage if you see I have written student book loan scheme it's a scheme so um, it should it should start with capital letter okay so S should be in caps B should be in caps and L should be in caps 
Similarly, I have paid 2000. It's always better you write, I have paid rupees 2000. Um, and also look at it, I have made a mistake in the spelling of semester. And the final mistake is please write back to me. Um, there can be a better usage, you know. So I have marked that um, as a mistake. And I would like to change that in the next stage, which is evaluate. And in evaluating stage, I write, I request you to make arrangements for the refund at the earliest and then thanking you sincerely. It's a formal letter. It's a request letter. So you need to be very formal and polite in your writing. And finally comes the review stage. It's always a good idea to go over your work one final time. This is to make sure that writing has the intended effect on the reader. And if it's a long piece of work, do not review it immediately. You know, if you have written a novel, it's always better that you keep it for a couple of days and then come back because your mind would be fresh and you will have more ideas and you will be able to review or proofread it in a better way. Now, reading out aloud, you know, reading your writing out loud to check whether it sounds natural is also uh, an important step. Sounding natural is very important. And if you can ask someone to read it, you know, if you can suggest your friend to read it and give you feedbacks, that would be a great idea too. That can actually improve your writing. So with this, we come to the end of the session. I hope you like the session. I will meet you with a different topic on a different day. Until then, stay safe. Take care. Bye.